in response to election-related malpractices. Two officials have been suspended for their roles in allowing irregularities at a polling station following under the Ramnagar Assembly constituency. The returning officer for West Tripura, Dr. Vishal Kumar, while informing this development, also said that the overall voter turnout in West Tripura crossed 80% at 5 p.m., while 23,000 voters were still queuing at 300 polling stations. There were 1,400 polling stations. The Bellonia subdivision in the South District recorded the highest turnout at 85.64%, while the lowest turnout of 68.64% was observed in the 7 Ramnagar Assembly constituency, whereby elections co coincided with the general elections. Regarding complaints raised by political parties, Dr. Kumar stated that while some reports of intimidation and malpractices were received, many were unsubstantial upon investigation by response teams. However, there were instances of arrests in the Mohanpur Assembly constituency and preventive de detentions in Ramnagar Assembly constituency. Dr. Kumar also mentioned that two officials were suspended due to non-functioning CCTV cameras at the polling station, which allowed unauthorized individuals to enter with voters. He emphasized that the entire process is under thorough review. हम इस कंप्लेन को हमें हमने देखा है हम इस पे कार्रवाई कर रहे हैं और डिटेल इंक्वायरी आने के बाद हम कोशिश करेंगे अगर किसी भी तरह से उस मतदाता का मत कहीं भी हो सके तो हम ट्राई करेंगे परंतु अभी तक सारे फैक्ट्स हमारे सामने नहीं आए आने पे हम जरूर कार्रवाई करेंगे अगर कोई पर्सनल भी रिस्पांसिबल होगा कोई भी पोलिंग पर्सनल अथवा सिक्योरिटी पर्सनल तो उनके खिलाफ भी एडिक्वेट कार्रवाई की जाएगी for more details, we shall connect with our correspondent from Tripura, M.K. Banik. Hello, Mr. Banik? Yes. Yeah, am I audible to you? Yeah, yes. Please kindly tell us in detail about the suspension of the two officials and uh, if possible, kindly tell us on what grounds and basis have they been suspended by the authorities? Actually, uh, the by-elections in uh, Ramnagar Assembly constituency which fall vacant after the death of uh, BJP MLA Suroji Kosto was conducted with the general elections to the uh, Lok, Sabha, uh, Lok Sabha in, in 2014. Mm -hmm. So, uh, According to the reports uh, which uh, the district magistrate and the returning officer of West Tripura Assembly constituency, West Tripura, West Tripura parliamentary constituency uh, has shared, is that uh, the both the polling uh, officials have uh, who are uh, responsible of the polling station mm -hmm. at that point of time when the inspection team visited, uh, they saw that the CCTV cameras were not operational. Uh, they were intentionally uh, switched off and uh, some unauthorized people who were, uh, were neither, uh, um, neither representing the, any political party mm -hmm. or uh, they were uh, authorized to enter the polling stations uh, with the uh, voters, which is why the, uh, the election authorities had to suspend them and uh, new officers were appointed to uh, complete the polling in this uh, in this, in the polling station okay so, and uh, mm. and uh, there were also reports of uh, polling malpractices and uh, as of now the opposition which is uh, india block in tripura mm. there are eight political parties mainly cpim and congress are together and there are small uh, political organizations which have very limited foothold in Tripura, they have also joined the opposition camp mm. and uh, they have also demanded that the uh, elections to West Tripura and the uh, Ramnagar by, by Ramnagar Assembly constituency should be countermanded and uh, fresh elections should be conducted here because uh, whatever the election, uh, uh, you know, the voting percentage is being shown. It is artificial. 
they have say uh, you know uh, so far the latest reports we have received from the election commission uh, 81% voting has been done in the uh, west tripura lok sabha assembly uh, lok sabha parliamentary constituency and in the ramnagar assembly constituency the polling is around 71% so uh, for ramnagar to be specific uh, there are the polling, polling percentage is very low in comparison to the history uh, of uh, voting in tripura because in tripura most of the time the polling percentage has crossed 80 80% um, you know in even in the last assembly elections when shuroji dotto was contesting the late mla uh, who is uh, no longer with us 84 85% voting was uh, recorded there okay mr manik so, uh, mr manik so what further development has been there with the queries or the investigation and uh, owing to the demands of the opposition who are requesting the authorities to have a fresh re-election in the in the particular area so is there any development regarding that query or with that we have, investigation we have, we have also spoken to the chief electoral officer and uh, the uh, returning officer so hmm. in most of the cases uh, the returning officer whatever the returning officer have said to the media person in most of the case uh, the opposition has alleged that in 80 percent of the polling stations the uh, polling agents of the opposition parties have been driven away forcefully and uh, they could not uh, discharge their duties because of the intimidation and uh, threat issued by the ruling party supporters but uh, according to the election authorities who have been conducting the elections uh, most of the polling agents were uh, you know in incommunicado Mm -hmm. They could not be praised after uh, when the complaints were lodged because the RO has uh, convinced the uh, opposition party leaders that uh, that uh, adequate security measures will be uh, arranged and all the polling agents will be reinstated mm -hmm. to the uh, respective polling stations. Mm -hmm. But uh, the polling agents did not respond uh, to the you know uh, requests of the uh, election conducting authorities. So in that case, uh, there are uh, the, whatever the opposition is saying, the response of the uh, authorities are in con in sharp contrast. Even the uh, ruling Bharatiya Janata Party and the BJP state president Rajiv Bhattacharjee has also uh, spoke to media personnel last night uh, in the late night, and he said that the opposition parties are trying to uh, find out an escape route. Uh, from the defeat, uh, mm. which is imminent, and which is why they are making such false allegations, okay. uh, false voting, and all. Yeah, Whatever uh, the opposition is saying, it might have some ground, but in overall scenario, the, the media person, the opposition failed to, you know, showcase any kind of video footages where electoral malpractices are going on, whether there are booth capturing, booth jabbing. So there are no evidence uh, in the spec that could not substantiate uh, the statements they are making. Mm -hmm. Mr. Manik, see, with such a high turnout of the voters, which is above 80 percent, it is actually a matter of great joy and pride that the people have exercised their right to vote. However, since the opposition is uh, claiming so many things like proxy voting has been done, booth capturing claims are also there, all these things are happening. So. Do you do you think, or how is the ground reality? Where can we consider a situation where the opposition is scared that they are going to lose against the BJP? Is it because of that that they are making all these claims, or what is the ground reality over there? If you if you see the politics of Tripura from the uh, if from 2018 after the BJP has formed its first government, the opposition CPIM or if you call Congress and opposition or the these two parties have been on a sharp decline in terms of uh, vote share. Hmm. And in the in, uh, in 2024 also BJP has fielded very strong candidates like uh, former Chief Minister Biplav Kumar Dev is contesting from the West Tripura. In East Tripura they have uh, placed their bet on P.T. Singh Deborman who is also the sister of uh, royalty and Pradukti Show Deborman. So the party he formed is Sikra Mota, which was 
yearly as a principal opposition party, but later ahead of the elections, they formed an alliance with the BJP after an accord was signed uh, with the government of India and government of Tripura. So this was a major boost for the uh, ruling party because uh, if you say in 2023, the BJP has saw uh, BJP saw a sharp decline of vote share mm -hmm. by 7 to 9 percent. Mm -hmm. But after that, you know, the Tipra Motha, which was the principal opposition party that got 20, 24 percent of votes in the 2023 assembly election, that uh, jumped to the ruling camp. So mm -hmm. it was uh, more or less, it was quite obvious that the ruling party has an edge over the opposition. And CPIM and Congress, uh, they have been the arch rival in Tripura since uh, last 30, 40 years. Mm. So CPM was fighting Congress and Congress was fighting CPM. They had been in power in turn. But despite that, there was a tussle. And now the, uh, the voters of both the parties are being told that you have to vote for the CPIM candidate. The Congress workers are told that you have to vote for the CPM candidates and the CPM workers are told that you have to vote for the uh, Congress candidates. So the message uh, of the opposition camp does not seem very convincing to the voters. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the on the other hand, uh, the Tipra Motha, uh, which is the ally of the BJP, the biggest ally I could say right now because they have 13 MLAs. So they have said that the BJP is ready to give whatever we have been demanding. If not greater Tipra land, they are going to give us uh, at least a constitutional solution, a good package for the uh, six schedule areas so that we can uh, for socio-economic and political upliftment of the uh, tribal society. So in that case, the ruling camp looks, uh, the message of the ruling camp, the political message of the ruling camp that, that they have to convey to the voters looks uh, much more convincing than the opposition. And uh, a few days back, Tiflamotha Supremo and the Royal Sion, Tiflamotha uh, Royal Sion, uh, the Department has also said that the, uh, the, uh, who, who is also in the Congress, who was in the Congress, he was the TPCC president in the, when the 2020-2019 uh, uh, Sabha elections were being conducted. So he said that the CPI, the alliance between CPIM and Congress is not natural because naturally these two parties have been fighting in uh, in Tripura. But in ca in case of Tripura Motha and BJP, Tripura Motha, whatever the demand of Tripura Motha was, the BJP is likely like to likely to consider their demands and make some arrangements. Mm. So in this way, if you see, if uh, we know that in politics one plus one equal not uh, is never equal to two. But uh, if we say, uh, considering the overall scenario playing out in uh, Tripura politics, the ruling camp is far more in better position than the opposition camp. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you so much for your report and for your input. The rest is up to the authorities whether the fresh, fresh elections will be held or not. And moreover, the second phase elections would be for East Tripura which are going to be held on the 26th of April. So, the, though the water turnout has been good, which is above 80% for the West Tripura, let's see what happens in the East Tripura elections.